Hello. Welcome back to Vlogmas. Don't forget about those beats back there. You see them? You see them? All you have to do is keep on keeping on with being really active with Vlogmas. Today, I have a very highly requested review for you and that is the brand Workout Empire. This is not a sponsored video. I've actually purchased from them a couple times myself. That aesthetic though. Hello Christmas! For those of you that have not heard of Workout Empire, they are a European company. They ship lots of places though. To the US in particular, it's $10 shipping unless you spend over 75 and then it's free. Everything on their website comes in sizes extra small to extra large. I got a size small in everything that I'm about to show you. I do have all of my measurements down below in the description for reference. Also, this site has a bomb outlet section like run don't walk because they have a bunch of things for like under ten dollars the first item that i wanted to show you is called the insignia tank this is one of their newer releases it is thirty dollars it comes in black and white but i got it in the color obsidian i love that word that is the best possible name for black like if i were a bad guy starring in a movie i would want that name Thunder Wonder. Rise of Obsidian. I don't generally like to wear loose fitting tank tops to the gym. I just get all up in my business. But I actually don't mind this one. I absolutely love the drop armholes that this one has with this cute little strappy detail. These aren't elastics or anything fancy, it's just strappy fabric. It's made from a polyester spandex material and it is so soft. And it's very moisture wicking. I've already worn and washed this a few times and run it through the dryer and it has held up amazingly well. A plus for the obsidian tank. Here we have, I don't know how to say this word. Regalia. Regalia. Thank you, Google. I have the tights in the crimson color, which is absolutely gorgeous. These are $65. They fit pretty true to size, a little bit snug, but I'd say true to size. These have a good mid to high rise waistband. There is no elastic built into the waistband, but it does have a seam up here at the very top. They got the booty pop and curve bum. Someone really needs to come up with a technical name for this or else I'm just gonna keep making up different names for it every single video. They're made from a polyester elastane material. They're very thick and plushy with a moderate stretch to them. They have this ribbed paneling on the calf and on the thigh, which is a nice added detail. And they have an inner pocket. No one cares. Literally no one uses those. You know what? Out of all the comments I receive on all of my videos, never once have I had anyone ask, um, does does it have a waistband pocket? Yes, it does have the extra frumpy bumpy extra fabric. These do have a nice crotch gusset, this little guy right here, which helps with the camel toe. You're not gonna get it unless you're really hiking them up to match with that because I, as is the entire Instagram community, I'm obsessed with matching sets lately. This is, I already forgot how to say it. This is the Regalia. bra in crimson. This set also comes in black navy, white, and khaki. I would say that this is a medium support sports bra. It doesn't come with pads, but it is double lined. The material that it's made out of is the same polyelastane that the leggings are made out of. It's very thick and has a little bit of a slick texture to it. It has this unique pin tuck material on the back, the same as the leggings do. I really love when activewear companies do stuff like this. Cause is it just me or are a lot of activewear companies starting to make products that look exactly the same? This bra does run a little bit small. So it's a snug fit for me. If you like your bras to fit a little bit looser, then I would recommend sizing up. The part that fits a little bit snug is this elastic band on the bottom. The second outfit that I have is my favorite one. It's the insignia outfit. So this tank top actually goes with this outfit, but I like this sports bra so much that I don't like to cover it with the tank top. The insignia sports bra comes in this khaki and black, and then it also comes in a white and black. This fabric is very similar to the regalia fabric. This is another medium support sports bra. It also doesn't come with cups, but it is double lined. I love the contrast of the black straps. And then it has a really pretty open back with some crisscross detailing and the little logo on the back as well as on the front. Even though there's a lot happening with the sports bra, it's actually very comfortable. The matching leggings are $69. These come in this khaki color and black. 
They have this really pretty caged detailing on the calf. And these leggings have a really nice compression to them overall. They do have that seam at the top, so I would say it's moderate tummy control. The last outfit that I have is the high performance outfit. We're just gonna get the bra out of the way. I got it in a small. I couldn't even fit it over my head. <laughs> So I highly suggest sizing up with this one. This one does have removable cup pads. It's really cute. It has a really pretty design on the back. It's just way too small, so that's really all I can tell you about it. Oh, it was $35, but it is on sale for $17. The matching leggings. You have two options for these ones. They are the exact same legging. However, one of them is a low-cut with an elastic waistband, and one of them has the high waistband. They're both $65, and they both have a black mesh and a solid white panel on the leg. I'm not much for patterns on my activewear, but I actually like this pattern. They have the logo on the lower leg, and then, and then the one with the elastic waistband also has the logo on the waistband. The high-waisted leggings, don't let them fool you. There actually is an elastic in the waistband. It does come up about two or three inches higher than these ones but it's not just one solid thick compression waistband. It does have a little elastic at the top. In the description for the high-waisted ones, it says perfect for all body types. Like they're basically admitting that this one is not perfect for all body types. I don't love elastic waistbands generally. There's a few brands that are exceptions to that for me, but for the most part, they just dig right into your hips. And unless you have 10% body fat or lower, it just doesn't look right and it doesn't feel good. I do prefer the fabric that these leggings are made out of over these two. It's a little bit thinner and stretchier. Overall, I really do like this brand. I would say it's very similar to something like Nike or Gymshark. I like that they're coming out with pretty unique designs. I hope that this video was helpful. Like I said, I was getting lots and lots of requests for it. And as always, if you have any other brands that you would love to see me review, make sure to tell me down below. And Leo and I will see you tomorrow as Vlogmas continues. Say bye, Vlogmas! Hi, you look so handsome in your sweater. Workout empire. <laughs> he hates when I do that voice. Siberian Orchestra in blue. You let me down, Spotify. You let me down. All I wanted was to add that song to my workout playlist. Yo, listen up. Cause he ain't got nobody to listen to.